Hello everyone. Welcome to Amazon Sub Tip webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a send connector in Exchange Server 2019 using the Exchange Admin Center. When we install first Exchange 2019 server in our organization, the server isn't able to send mail outside of our Exchange organization. To send mail outside of our Exchange organization, we need to create a send connector. We can create send connectors in the transport service on mailbox servers and on edge transport servers. Send connectors are stored in Active Directory and by default all send connectors are visible to all mailbox servers in the organization. Until we create a send connector, mail can't flow from our exchange to the internet. The only case you can send mail to the internet if you install an edge transport server in your network and subscribe the edge transport server to your exchange organization in this guide we will use exchange admin center to create a send connector in exchange 2019 first i'm going to click on internet explorer type in url https colon double slash localhost slash ecp and press enter key to access exchange admin center web interface click on more information and click on go on to the web page let's sign in as an administrator with the password in the exchange admin center web interface we need to click on mail flow section and then we need to click on send connectors tab as you can see currently we haven't created any send connector in our exchange organization to create a new send connector we need to click on this plus icon in the new send connector window type a name of your send connector here i'm giving name to our send connector amaceptive webcast external send connector and after that we have options to choose a send connector type there are total four types available when you create a new send connector in exchange server 2019 the first one is a custom and which is selected by default custom option allows us to send email to other non exchange mail server and the brief description is also included with the custom for example to send mail to other non exchange servers if you have edge server in your environment and you want to route mail through edge server then select internal option and that is the second one internet option will allows us to send emails to the external network to the internet and that we want to select in this demo and again i want to remind you that configure this option if you want to send emails to the internet directly from your mailbox server choose partner option to send emails using third party servers with tls encryption and certificate authentication in this demo we are going with internet type as we want to send emails out on the internet now i'm going to click on next button here we can verify the two methods to send emails on the internet we can send emails using smart host or we can use mx record associated with a recipient domain mx record uses dns lookup to find the recipient's mail server in case if you are planning to route your emails via smart host please specify ip address In that case we need to select the second radio button and then we need to click on the plus icon to specify the IP address of that smart host fine but in this demo we are going to select this radio button mx record associated with the recipient domain now i'm going to click on the next button under address space i'm going to click on the plus sign to specify the address space type will be smtp and under fqdn i'm going to specify asterisk uh this value indicates that the send connector applies to messages addressed to all external domains keep the cost value to 1 the less the number the higher the priority now i'm going to click on the save button the address space is configured type is smtp asterisk is the domain and cost is 1 Now let's click on next to continue. Now here we need to specify our source server and for that I'm going to click on this plus icon. And we have only one mailbox server and that is our local server ex19-mbx01. Let's select it and click on add and click on okay. 
And suppose if you have more than one action server, you can add that server again by clicking on this a plus icon. Fine. But right now we don't have the other server. So I'm going to click on cancel, review the configuration and click on a finish button when you are ready. So let's click on finish button. In the Action Jarbin Center, we can verify a SAN connector has been created successfully. And suppose if you want to modify any settings of your existing SAN connector, that time you simply need to select the SAN connector, click on Edit icon, and modify the settings which you want to modify. Fine. Okay. Let's click on Save to save the changes. So now we should be able to send emails out on the internet. That's all for this video on how to create a SAND connector in Action Server 2019 using Action Judgment Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.